Hello, this is Hockey Bean, and today we are going to SCP-519. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Item number, SCP-519. Special containing procedures. SCP-519 is be kept in a standard storing room 5x5 five five meters in size. It must not be connected to a phone line unless experiments are being performed. SCP-519 is a Model 7 Southwestern Bell phone box with heavy graffiti, serial number redacted. Its display phone number matches that which it would have if it were in service. It was recovered from an abandoned mall in redacted Missouri, following rumors of a talking telephone box. When the handset is lifted, the user is greeted, with variations according to season and time of day, by a voice acting for the correspondent's name or phone number. The voice is of indeterminate gender, though most speakers receive it as belonging to the opposite gender. Darling, the desired phone number instead of speaking into the handset causes its voice to become petulant. Any person may be requested as long as a phone connected to a phone dedicated to that person can be reasonably established. Phones called may include blacklisted numbers and similar phones that are not supposed to receive calls, etc. Should that be the only phone used by the person on a regular basis? Once a number, with the exception of a 1 800 ed, ed, or a 911 and variation, or a person has been requested the appropriate rate, which are accurate as of 19 redacted when the all was abandoned, will be demanded before further actions. Vocabulary and speech patterns of the voice may vary greatly, but appear to roughly match those of the user. With a few exceptions. During the entire conversation, the user will never directly hear the person they have called, instead having their speech reported and by the voice. Conversations appear normal from the other end of the line, with speech addressed to the SCP and not heard. What is heard, however, might not reflect the exact words used by the speaker. The voice will often comment profusely on the intent of either speakers and even mock the user in a devil such angel on the shoulder fashion. Its overall personality varies from sarcastic and misleading and re reporting to abovely and ridiculously willing to trust the interlocutor. That is a weird word. Interrogating the voice itself makes it grow increasingly aggressive and its refusal to answer. A lot, always along the lines of, I'm only there to repeat what people say, until the conversation is cut and a busy line tone begins playing at deafening levels. Hitting or damaging the box will lead to the re same result, although it's displayed the ability to discern whether or not the speaker is responsible for such actions. Only well-defined persons or numbers are accepted. Random or purposefully invented names will fail, but not, for example, reading a random name from a phone book. One can request family members by relation rather than name. My mother, my cousin. Even if there are several possible old, old the intended recipient will be called. Recipients such as that girl I met yesterday, unless the number or name are known, will be sneered at by the voice. Requests for fiction all characters will lead variously to the phone reaching actors who probably played the character. Homonyms are the creator of the character. Calls can only be done to a phone line that can be described as normal for that person, such as a house phone, cell phone, or office work. Along the line, being blacklisted is not an impediment. Phone calls have carried through strictly internal systems on several occasions. Similarly, SV519 appears able to bypass all automated phone systems to the point of immediately connecting to the desired or department of a company even if the phone number was requested. It is also able to connect to phones in locations where no, no signal should be able to reach. Addendum 1. When requested to call SCP-145, SCP-519 retorted, That line's occupied, dude. Always was, and refused to expound further. Incident 519A. On a redacted date, Agent Redacted unexpectedly requests a call to SCP-400-ARC, upon which a voice commented, 
Oh boy. Before apparently establishing a connection. Doctor redacted and immediately ended the experiment, and both were later disciplined when it was found that SCP 400 ARC has a ring at the same time the connection was established. That was a little bit foolish. Anyway, that was SCP 519. An interesting phone. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!